Welcome, everybody. We have some breaking news today, and because this is how the world operates now, I'm obligated to share my opinions. Let's uh, let's get into it. Headline: Court says Trump administration can withhold money from New York City and seven states in sanctuary cities fight. All right. So the Trump administration can withhold federal money from seven states as well as New York City over their cooperation on immigration enforcement. A federal appeals court ruled Wednesday the decision by the second U.S. Court of Appeals reversed a lower court ruling that blocked the Justice Department from withholding a key law enforcement grant the department said was available only to cities that complied with specific immigration enforcement measures. All right. Let's skip down a little bit. If uh, For those of you who don't remember, this is related to... Here. Here we go. This is related to back in 2017 when Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced that applicants for the Ed Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grants would have to comply with federal immigration enforcement. And, of course, the states pushed back and sued over this move. Okay, if you hear me, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm just muting the microphone to either cough or clear my throat, so I apologize if this is a little stilted. Anyway, so what what can we take away from uh, from this ruling? Well, first off, this will undoubtedly be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, and I think eventually the courts will rule in favor of the administration. You know, when you as a grantee, when you agree to take federal funding, you sign off on a bunch of paperwork that says that you're going to follow all federal, state, and local laws, regulations, ordinances, requirements, etc. You know, you don't get to pick and choose which laws you're going to abide by. I can definitely see why the states are fighting this. Uh, The Ed Byrne Justice Assistance Grants represent a huge pool of funding. And for those that don't know, there are two types of Ed Byrne uh, JAG grants, as they're known. Those that are granted directly to the states and then subgranted to local municipalities and local law law enforcement agencies. And then there are the JAG grants that local governments and law enforcement apply directly to the federal government. And if your state and or local law enforcement is dependent upon those grants, having the funds cut off could have a huge impact on how public safety is delivered. And this will be especially complicated in states like California, where you have a split between the state and local governments. So California declared itself a a sanctuary state a couple of years ago, but not all of the local governments necessarily agreed with that position. So a local police or sheriff's department that's receiving JAG funding and complying with the state's, with California's sanctuary state law could have its grants withheld, even though their city or law enforcement agency didn't even want to be a part of the sanctuary city or sanctuary state uh, process in the first place. So, I mean, that's kind of a bummer. Now, I don't, I don't judge one way or another if a city or county is opposed to helping federal law enforcement detain criminals that are in the U.S. illegally. You know, every local government needs to do what's, you know, what it believes is best for its residents. And with that said, you're in a much stronger position to take that stance if you don't receive any federal funding, especially those Department of Justice grants. You know, that's the other side of the coin with federal funding. They're a tremendous resource for organizations, but they come with 
a lot of strings attached. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're a large city or a large county with a strong tax base and you want to take that sanctuary city, sanctuary county position, you know, maybe it's time to take a really hard look at your budget to reprioritize your spending and divest yourself of federal law enforcement grants. If you're a smaller government, maybe it's time to focus more on state funding and local bond measures. You know, there's no there's no easy solution to this. And this is why I tell everyone not to become dependent on the federal government or any single source of funding. Diversify your funding. If grants are cut or if federal policies change that don't align with with yours, you know, with, with your positions, uh, you can react with minimal disruption to your organization and the people you serve. Okay, you know what? I think that's it. <laughs> that's, that's my news and commentary for the day. Uh, if this story... Or as this story develops, I will bring you new new updates. But I think I think we're headed for the U.S. Supreme Court on this one. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up. And be please and be please and please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when the next video is uploaded. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.